Okay guys, so I just got back from Starbucks, so I'm going to be giving you my honest review of this holiday, holiday drink that I bought. Um, it's called, if you want to order it, it's called the Toffee Nut um, Frappuccino. You can also order it as a latte, but I chose Frappuccino. That's what I prefer. I order it with almond milk and it, the size is tall. like. This size is is a tall. Um, you can also order it grande or there's a smaller size, I believe. But yeah, I think this is like the perfect size. Um, I checked it and it and online it says it's with whole milk. It's 268 calories, but if you have you know like a I go vegan plant-based milk it's few it's lower so compared to the other holiday drinks of Starbucks that some are like 400 calories something like that it's not that it's not that crazy compared to the others um so yeah so I'm going to taste it and see how it is it looks really cute it has like you know little bits I don't know if that's toffee or Let's see. Mm. Mm. This is really good. Look, I'm happy. Mm. I'm so happy I ordered this. this. I mean, I haven't really. Toffee is like kind of like a chewy candy. If I remember correctly, I haven't had toffee in quite a while, but if I remember, it's like a chewy candy that tastes kind of like caramel. It tastes like the candy, but um, compared with other drinks, I don't think it's that sweet because I was seeing other reviews of like the white mocha or the you know a dark mocha, and those the people were telling were saying that those were like too sweet, but this is. This is really good. I mean, it is sweet, but it tastes more like coffee. Like if you like coffee, you're going, you're probably going to like this drink. Oh, it's really cute. It has like little Christmas ornaments. Okay, and while we're, I'm doing my review on this, I'm going to tell you guys on um, heads up of what has happened since my last car vlog um i did a car vlog going to the cemetery and i'm asking for a job i try to apply online but they are they have like pre-requirements like you have to have experience in the funeral industry and you have to like study mortuary classes um, that that's a degree on its own and some of them also require a special license that is for people that travel you know they have the bodies and they travel with the bodies of the cadavers and stuff so you have to have a special license for that and yeah I don't have those prerequisites obviously so I'm just looking for other like retail types of jobs I don't I'm more of an introvert. I don't really like being around lots of people. So that's why I wouldn't really prefer a retail job as my first option. But <sighs> let's see how that goes. So that's that. That's how that's going. Um, what else? My dream job, you know, if you want to get to know me, like my dream job will be probably working at a library. But right now with coronavirus, you know, with the virus it's like impossible to work at a library I think because they're probably closed and even though it, even if I wanted to like near my house there's not really any libraries like that so that's sad uh, yeah oh I also wanted to like in this vlog I do recommendations so I have two recommendations the first is for a series um it's on netflix so since almost everybody has netflix you can go and check it out it's called okay there's people in front of me and yeah i feel weird but whatever um the first series is called selena 
and it's about the life of this Mexican-American uh, singer she was a, you probably have heard of her she was very popular and I don't know if it was the late 90s like the 90s yeah um so yeah I'm very impressed with how Netflix has done the series because as you all know Netflix is known for like doing very family friendly content like most like when I want to watch something with my parents with my family like most of the content that we clicked on we hit play like they had like inappropriate scenes and all oh, they have profanity stuff like that and I personally do not like that um, it's like uncomfortable to watch that with my family and but this series I from what I remember has no profanity it has none none zero nin sexual scenes which I love because the most awkward thing is watching something with your parents and I don't know where <sighs> like people start moaning kissing and like I don't need this I don't need this in a series a series does not need sexual scenes to be good and this and Selena this TV series um, it demonstrates that I you know it's family drama and it you if you like seeing like the lives of of artists of singers you're really going to like this and yeah especially if you grew up like in a you know latino community or if you know you're from Me mexico she wasn't i mean her parents were from Me mexico uh, selena but she didn't grow up on mexico she she grew up in the u.s um but yeah she was battling it also tackles that she was battling um with her two identities you know and also in her music you see that there's like you know more latino music and then there's also um american influences in her music so i really liked that and yeah i totally recommend the series i think it has it's very short i think it has two seasons but it hasn't finished it's ongoing so yeah just see it right now and wait for the next season to come and I hope it's really good. One thing I have to say is that the actress that is playing Selena doesn't really look like the real life Selena. My mom also said that because she, my mom was an adult when Selena was still alive. So she saw her on TV and she says, you know, she doesn't look like Selena at all. But, you know, uh, you can also check out the movie or where J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, plays Selena. And I think she looks more like Selena than this actress but you know it's a good series either way even if um some of the characters don't really look like they're real life people okay so that's a recommendation a tv series if you want to see it the second recommendation is for music okay this this artist that i've been watched like for the past day for the past week um his name is alec benjamin and he his music is like indie pop um he's most known on like instagram and social media uh and there's his i think it's his first album it's called these two i think it's these these two windows oh my gosh i i found out about him through his song jesus in la that i heard on the radio and then I just got curious, like, oh, let's see what other songs he has. And I just fell in love with this album. Like, the songs are all just beautiful. And and even though some of the things he sings about, like, breakups, let's say, or heartbreak, I haven't really been through, I still connect with him because uh, we have different situations, you know. And even though they're different, you experience... The same emotions in different situations in different scenario scenarios if you get what i mean hey guys so i'm going to be ending the video here because there was no space left in my phone so i couldn't film anything more um so yeah guys i hope you really enjoyed being on you know this quick vlog with me um tell me down in the comments if you have tried any of these holiday starbucks drinks or if you want to try them now i don't know maybe do you have a starbucks near your place where you live because not everybody you know has a starbucks um where they live so yeah guys 
thanks so much for being here with me today i hope you'll have a very lovely christmas and that you are with your families yeah and you get together and you and you have a very fun time together <laughs> okay guys don't forget to like this video um subscribe for more content and hit the notification bell so that youtube can notify you whenever i upload more content and more videos okay bye hasta la próxima bye